Good morning everyone. I have a little extra time today so I figured I would record a video for Friday and Saturday. So here we go. I know it's not live. I know that we enjoy the live ones much better but this is better than nothing. So I will be back live Sunday morning and we can do the whole thing all over again. So we need to start off being dressed shoes because dressed shoes means we are proactive for the day. It means we are ready to go. Should somebody knock on the door? Should we have to go run out quick? Should we have to do anything that we weren't even planning on or maybe we forgot about? Because guess what? We forget, things happen, it's okay. Just don't worry about it and keep going. So it's okay to forget. That's why I write things down, so I try not to forget, but whatever. So we start off the day being dressed to shoes and drinking that first glass of water. All right? That gets everything moving on the inside, and we can keep going. <laughs> next off, I'm starting this one next because it is by far the most important one we do. If you do nothing else, including get dressed to shoes, please make sure you do these six things daily. It is your core six. It takes care of your inside so you can take care of the things around you. So drink your water, eat your meals, take your meds, get a good night's sleep, pamper yourself, Remember, that's got to be something that feeds your soul. It can't be, oh, well, Renee says I got a pamper, so let me do this, and it feels more like work. No, that's not a pamper. That's not how it works. Do seven-minute yoga with Adrian. Yeah, you love your seven-minute yoga with Adrian. And then move, okay? Move. Something, anything is better than nothing. It doesn't have to be 15 minutes. It doesn't have to be 20 minutes. It doesn't even have to be five minutes. Just move. A little bit extra than what you would normally do those six things will help keep your insides going all right now today being Friday date night tonight once all the running around is done tie up the loose ends for the week or get your errands done whatever you do on Friday okay the mission today all right you ready because this is really, really, really going to test your perfectionistic attitude towards things. You need to go into your dining room. I don't have a dining room. I'll be in my living room. You need to spot clean the walls and windows. You see why I'm saying it's going to test your perfectionistic attitude. Because you're only wiping down and cleaning those spots that are dirty. Not the whole thing, just the spots. Hey, do you guys want to my Lego Bobcat that I made? I'm working on the sweeper bucket right now. I love it. Yeah, it actually works. You are so creative. I know, right? The beat. Like and subscribe or this podcast will come to your house and scoop you up. Right? Like, subscribe, hit that little bell so that way you guys know when either I'm going live or I've published a new video or anything like that. All right, next. We need to plan our calendar. Being Friday today, I have no sessions. So, yay. So it is whatever the family is doing. Um... As of this recording, I have no idea what's going on on Friday. Um, it's the third. Normally, that would mean we're going to go watch fireworks and stuff like that, seeing as everything stopped. I have no idea what we're doing tonight. So, whatever. Three goals. Make them smart. Small, measurable, accurate, appropriate reasonable and timely okay so you want them small or if it's a bigger goal you want to be able to break it up into the small goals 
your goals are where you are physically headed for the day. It gives you something to give you a sense of accomplishment throughout the day. So, very important. Write them down, get them in your head, put them in your phone, don't really care. Just make three. Not 18, three. Kids day, still working on that for just a sec. He knows what he's got to do. I help him remind it, but still working on something cool for him to be able to do it. All right. Meal planning for today. Once again, as of this recording, I have no idea. Um, I have my meals listed on the fridge. Juan will be off. So I have no idea. It could be one of those. It could be something he decides to do. We could end up going out to eat. I have no idea. Um, so I'm going to roll with it. I have a feeling it will be the meatball and pepper pizzas. That's what I have a feeling it's going to be. Probably grilled. Your intention. This is where you are spiritually moving throughout the day or mentally moving throughout the day if you don't like the word spiritually. Um, it is how you're going to approach the situations with your attitude. Is it going to be joy, peace, happiness, acceptance? What is it going to be? All right. Now, boom, let's hit our cleaning. So, we want to take care of the bed. We make the bed. Why do we make the bed? Because it's easy to make the bed. Then you've got something done. You can build up the rest of the stuff that you have to do by what is already done. So make the bed. It takes under four minutes for a lot of people, depending upon how many blankets and sheets and pillows and stuffed animals you've got. It takes about under, and how the bed is situated in the room and what is all around the bed in the room takes about four minutes under um, the way that ours are takes me two minutes to make two under two minutes to make two of them but that's me that's how we sleep so that's not you so do not try to measure yourself against my time oranges and steak can't compare them swish and swipe once again why do we do it because it's easy because it's quick so we can just get it done so remember, put down the cleaning supplies and walk away, okay? All you need for this is either a damp rag or a damp piece of toilet paper. You're going to get the spots off the counter, get the spots off the mirror. I personally don't like the wet toilet paper on the mirror, but that's my opinion. Um, get the spots off the toilet seat. Those of you with young boys know exactly what I'm talking about. Swish out the inside of the toilet bowl. That's it. You want to add anything else? That's on you. It roughly takes about the time that it just took me to explain it to do it. So, you can do it. Laundry, once again, it is one that drops off almost every single time. Because we see the load, it's a small load. Oh, I'll just wait. Next day, we have three loads we have to do. Don't wait. Do that small load, okay? Get it done. And remember, laundry is not done until it's put away. So, keep that in mind. Pick up, put away. Speaking of putting away. The usefulness of the room, the purpose of the room, is the stuff that needs to be in there. Maybe you're doing two minutes or five minutes at the top of every hour to go into each room. Maybe you're doing it morning, afternoon, and evening. Maybe you're just doing it as you see it, which is the way I usually do it. Because then I'm not making any extra trips. If I'm already headed to that room, I might as well grab something that goes to that room. It's up to you. Or maybe you make it a family affair. That's also up to you. Last two things we need to really focus on this morning is meal prep and then the kitchen. So if you ran your dishwasher over the evening and over the night, you want to empty it and get everything put away. If you um, have a complicated meal, like I said, I have no idea what I'm eating on Friday. Maybe I'll put a little comment in the video below um, what we end up having so that way you guys know. Um, 
do whatever you can to prep it so that way you don't have as many dishes at the end of the night. All right, with that being said, you guys are doing amazing. You're doing wonderful. Keep up the good work. Remember, two steps forward, one step back is still one step forward. It doesn't matter. Some days we're more productive than others. That doesn't mean there's anything wrong with you. Some weeks we're more productive than others. Once again, it doesn't matter. That doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with you. You take what the universe has given you that day and you roll with it. All right? Keep up the good work. I'm really proud of you. Have a very happy Friday and enjoy your date night. All right? Ooh, side note. Pause the video now or come back to it tonight and let's run through the evening routine, right? Let me see. I haven't done an evening video in ages, so we're going to start with checking our calendar because that in turn leads us to what is for dinner tomorrow, setting up our launch pad appropriately laying out our clothes for tomorrow and starting to think about our goals for tomorrow so do this in the evening the afternoon whatever whenever you feel it necessary get those things done all right so once you check the calendar get the rest of it everything that goes with that calendar taken care of so if you got to pull out meat pull out meat if you don't don't worry about it all depends especially with it being fourth of july um Take care of a hot spot or a room rescue if that's what you need to do to make you be able to go to sleep better and have everything nice and picked up. That's the way I am. Don't forget to shine your sink. You want to go to sleep at night with a shiny sink because that helps you when you wake up in the morning and you don't got an extra chore to do. All right? And we don't need to worry about today's stuff tomorrow. Don't forget to wash your face, brush your teeth, floss, mouthwash, the whole works. And then, of course, go to bed at a decent hour. When you set up your launch pad, that is also when you set up the coffee pot and everything else like that. So, there's your evening. Check in with your goals that you had today. Check in with your water and your core six. Did you get it all done? Other than that, you guys now have a great night and... There will be a recorded video out tomorrow, and I will be live Sunday morning. Bye!